welcome to Bodacious Barbecue. Started in 1968 by Roland Lindsay right here in Longview, Bodacious quickly grew into a Texas chain and now has over 20 locations stretching from Dallas into Louisiana. But take it from me, not all Bodaciouses are created equal. And this one is not only the best Bodacious, but it's some of the best barbecue, period. This is Pit Boss, Brian Bingham. This thing looks like a submarine or something. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty big beast. Uh, this is. Uh, I'm sure it's named. Yes, his name is Clifford, and it's the Big Red Pit. Appropriate, and very appropriate. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got briskets on. I put those on about maybe about eight or so this morning. They'll be cooking until tomorrow, around nine tomorrow morning. 24, 25 hour yep. cook. Yeah, until they're done. <laughs> that is the slowest cook yes, I've sir. ever heard of. Yeah, I think that we might be the longest cooks on the brisket. So yeah, that's just the way we do it. We like it low and slow. With a secret family rub and smoked on mesquite at first to get things hot and then post oak overnight to hold the low temp. I mean, these guys are not playing around. That is until it comes to the specials, where playing and experimentation are part of the menu. What, what's the special today? What we got? So our special today, that uh, Al Pastor pork belly burned in. And, Ooh. Uh, Every man has his breaking point and I just hit mine. Couldn't even wait. Nope, nope. What do you think? Oh, man. Between the smoke and the pineapple. So the sweetness the that's that on, there, on there, yeah, it's a uh, pineapple gastric that we make. Oh. Love it. I, I love cooking the traditional barbecue, but yeah. uh, I really enjoy getting to be creative and take something that you would think as a taco or a burger or a pizza and I turn that into a sausage yeah. or just some other different things. It's just really fun to kind of let my mind go and it awesome, breaks man. up the monotony of doing the same thing every day. I would say so. Yeah. Barbecue here is way more than the traditional three meat plate. And I think I'm gonna have to go with the 20 meat plate. This is like the tour de bodacious, man. Where to start? Look at this, brisket. This is what happens when you cook a brisket for 24 hours. Just falls apart like butter. Oh, man. That's so good. This does not need any sauce, but this is like their secret family recipe. Here's the original. Ooh. It's tangy, it's really tangy. I love boudin, I love barbecue. Here's two of my favorite things, smoked barbecue in the boudin. Oh man, that's some of the best boudin I've ever had. You like boudin, Daniel? I mean, my name is Boudin Dan. <laughs> boudin. 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 You just got a new nickname. <laughs> you know, I love traditional barbecue. But, you know, I am gonna support all the chefs that take traditional barbecue and then add a whole new spin to it. I mean, it is totally, I'm looking for a word. Tubular? No, that's, nah, not, that's it. not it. Totally cowabunga dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but you're Totally close. awesome, totally incredible, totally bu... Nah, I don't have anything. Yeah, no. it'll come to you. Yeah, I'll, let me keep thinking. Go <laughs> get it! Go <laughs> get That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> to see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com. Or here's some other videos you may like. Viacom Dios, amigos. <laughs>